Hey there, welcome to this video and I'm assuming that you're tuning in because you want to know how to boost one of your Facebook posts on your church's Facebook page. So we're going to talk about that in this video, so let's get started. What I'm going to do first is just pick out one of our posts that we have in here. This is a Veterans Day video that we created, um, that our church created, and so I'm going to show you how to boost this. And so uh, first of all, what I mean by boosting is um, paying Facebook to out, you know to extend the reach of this particular post out to people beyond the people that already like our Facebook page okay so so just think of this could be any post that you have it could be a post about your upcoming Christmas services Easter services back to school right it could be any kind of event that you're having that you want to invite people to an Easter egg hunt uh, is especially good at Easter time your Christmas your uh, candlelight Christmas Eve services at Christmas time, that kind of thing. Um, and so, uh, you know, any of those kind of events, what you want to do is go ahead and create those, um, the text behind it with all the details and additional photos and that kind of stuff. Create a, a blog post on your website, then come in here in Facebook and actually create your post. Uh, if it's a video, obviously you're going to be uh, uploading it directly. If it's a Facebook live video, that's even better. Uh, you're going to be able to get probably the least expensive uh, form of of advertising through Facebook by using a Facebook live video but anyways uh, let's show you how to boost this thing so the first thing that you need to choose is your audience okay and so you can choose to advertise this to people who already like your page that's not really what we want people who like your page and their friends so you know that might be appropriate if you're trying to reach people that are already uh, friends with people that already like your page um, people that you choose through targeting or some other audience. These are some other audiences that we have in here. And so um, you can use this, people you choose through targeting. That is one way to do it. But um, what you can do is you can create a new audience and that's going to allow you to reuse the same audience over and over again. So we're going to go ahead and go through that process and show you how that, that looks right now. So when you create the audience, you want to name it. So you might call it something like uh, local folks not connected to our church okay something like that that kind of clues you in that these are local people um, if you're gonna designate you know male or female an age range something like that then you might want to go ahead and note that in your the name of your uh, audience which you can come back and edit later um, so we're gonna target all men I mean all uh, uh, genders men and women um, we can choose to limit the ages uh, go all the way down to 13, which is the minimum age for a Facebook user, and whatever you know, whatever age you want to start with. So we'll just do 18 to, um, let's say, the highest you can go is 65 plus. We want to target all people in this area. Uh, it, but if you if your church is uh, really trying to reach out to certain age groups, you might want to go ahead and put in a, a specific age group there and try to reach that demographic. Um, uh, specifically, you know, the more the more targeted you get, the better response that you're going to be able to get from your Facebook ad. So keep that in mind. You don't want to just go broad with everything. Um, if it's an event that's more geared towards women, then you definitely definitely want to target women. If it's def if it's geared towards women who are younger, then you know only choose those particular age ranges. And then what I can do is choose. Uh, these are some st cities that we had already used in the past. So it looks like um, Facebook is remembering that, but you can come in here and add a location. So add in, you know, whatever uh, city you're in, <laughs> New York City, for example. Um, and press enter on that. Okay, so now we see the city shows up, and it should adjust the map here. There it goes, it's adjusting the map. And so then um, you can also choose, um, let's see, normally it will let you choose, maybe because, I don't know, you can see with these other cities here, oh, here it goes, uh, when it added New York up here, um, then you can choose the radius, cities within a certain radius or the current city only, okay, so you can go down and get as narrow as 10 miles or go as wide as 50 miles, okay? Let's go ahead and remove New York City because that's not what we're targeting. So we're gonna choose these four cities. These are the main cities that are right around our church. Um, and then we could also, if we wanted to, 
um, add interest, people that are interested in certain things, okay? So um, if this was a Christmas ad, we might just go ahead and put in uh, Christmas and see if that comes up as an interest, and it does. And you can see there's various interests here that are related to Christmas. You have Christmas, Christmas in the holiday season, the night, Nightmare Before Christmas, the movie, um, Christmas slides, Christmas tree. So basically, uh, Facebook is going to know if people are um, liking things that have to do with Christmas, um, then it's going to try to pull those uh, folks in. And so, you you know, you can choose whether you want to um, uh, include any certain interest. For this one, I'm just going to not include any particular interest, okay? And then I'm going to save this. And then here in just a minute, it's going to refresh, and we see local folks not connected to your church. So now I just created uh, a an audience of people that are in the United States. They live 15 miles from Corinth, Hickory Creek, Lake Dallas, and Shady Shores, and their ages 18 to 65. Okay, so you can see that you could come in, in in here and create different audiences for different purposes, and use that. All right, so that's great. And here's where you set your total budget. Okay, and if you um, if you mouse it over any of these little eye symbols, you'll see some additional help here. Now, your total budget, um, I, I want to say $4, let's see, um, maybe $1 is the minimum, okay. Minimum budget is $1 per day, so your budget needs to be at least $2, okay. So you have to do at least $2, but literally that's, that's, the, um, that's the minimum that you have to spend with Facebook to get started doing Facebook advertisement. You can spend as little as $2 of your total and that would be your total budget for this whole ad. But you can specify down here your duration. So if you specify a duration of 14 days, um, then it's going to come back here and up here and warn you, say the minimum budget is $1 per day, so your budget needs to be at least $14. Okay, So this is the total budget. This is going to um, help make sure you don't spend any more than you want to spend. So if you want to spend, say, $5, you know, you put that in. Um, now you'd have to, you know, reduce it down to a certain number, you know, the days that would that would match that. So if you want to, if you want to um, um, advertise for two weeks, then you're going to need to put in at least a budget of fourteen dollars. Okay, that's the minimum you're going to be able to do for for a two week ad. Um, so that's probably, you know, probably the realistic minimum that you're going to need to spend for your Facebook ads. Now this is showing me, based on the uh, audience that I selected up here and our budget, it's estimated that you're going to reach between 1,200 and 3,200 people with this particular uh, Facebook ad. In other words, they're going to see this exact post and they're going to see that it says sponsored. It's coming from your church and you know whatever the video is or whatever the post is, the contents of that are going to show up. So this is showing you a preview of what the ad's going to look like. Um, we're going to put in a duration, I mean, yeah, duration, we're going to choose 1, 7, or 14. We can also set a hard date to run this ad until, so we can set it, we only wanted to run it up until December 1st, okay? Um, and then it says, you will spend an average of $1.16 per day. This ad will run for 12 days, ending on December 1st, 2016. So this gives you a, a good summary of what you're going to be spending on the ad, Okay. And then you're going to have uh, have to set up an account. Um, so if you don't have an account here, uh, there should be a way for you to create the account, and it'll walk you through. Um, I actually have a couple different accounts on here because of different uh, uh, Facebook ads that we run for different folks. Okay, and that's basically it. Once you have selected all that, then you're going to select Boost, and you're going to um, within you know a few hours those ads will start running. Um, now. This is boosting a post. There is, there are several ways to create Facebook ads. This is the most basic, uh, the most simple way to do it, and I wanted to show you this because this is the quickest and easiest way. It's the best way if you're going to just, if you're just starting off creating a Facebook ad, this is uh, the best way to go. But there are much, much more uh, advanced capabilities if you use the uh, Facebook ad manager, um, where you can actually set start and end dates for ads. You have more things that you can set for your audience um, and uh, you know a lot of advanced targeting a lot of a lot of advanced features that you can do and so if you want to do that you'll need to get into the Facebook ad manager which is a whole different thing and we'll do another tutorial on that uh, at a later time okay so I hope this has been uh, useful for you uh, let me know if you start running some Facebook ads would love to see them out there and um, love to know that we were able to help you okay
This is Patrick. We'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.